Hey guys, I'm Ryan. I've been hacking things my whole life. If you're new to my channel, I make things in my garage. I make things like this robot we're gonna talk about today. Let's get this started. But really what I wanna to talk to you about something today is much more valuable. I have been doing a two week intense project and that project has taught me something about myself. Mainly perseverance, listening to that voice that is the winner inside your head. The perseverance comes through, not easily, the perseverance comes through by taking that negative voice out of your head that is telling you that something's not worth it, even though in your heart it actually is. And this is what this project taught me. So uh, three weeks ago, at around 4.30 in the morning, I woke up and I started to have this idea. A bunch of cacophony of things happened. I made this uh, crazy sculpture for a video that I actually took down about how to prevent Amazon theft with a cooler. The video obviously did not do well, but I never had my heart behind it. I just wanted to make something. So then years and years have passed by with this desire to animate a character. So then I started to think, you know what, why don't I, instead of constantly making a tutorial video on how to do things, which I'm happy to do, why don't I make my own character that makes me happy, that brings joy to me. And in a world where AI is coming and there's all these things and makers are in this really interesting spot because they're, they may or may not use AI, I don't, if you need text, but mostly, is that in order to create that, you have to use your hands. And when you use your hands, you have a different feeling. You, you feel like you are um, part of the project. You're, you're, it's literally your suspension of disbelief, which was a Disney concept of where you're truly believing that you're not anywhere else. And it is kind of my form of meditation. And so during the last two weeks, after I got this idea of this robot here called Popolo that drives a little car, which I'm gonna show you in a second, I started to think about all the ways that I create them, could create them. So I knew that what I really wanted was to animate him. I wanted to bring him to life. So I started thinking about his story and everything else. And I actually asked for people's help to design part of this guy. So I sketched him out and I didn't know how to make didn't know how to make plastic look like metal and I just began my journey. So I first sketched out Pablo and I have this huge Jim Henson um, influence in my head. And so I wanted Pablo to show expressions through his eyes, through what the color of his eyes. The eyes will eventually be either green, blue, or red. And Popolo is, since this is the backgrounds channel where I'm going to make Popolo, so if you're interested in RC cars and robotics and anything that has to do that, I'm going to explain all the cars that I, ha I have. I'm going to show you the, his actual car, and I'm going to explain to you what happened last night about the fire, okay? So Popolo is this really um, interesting little guy that has a desire not to be human, he was actually already human. His desire is to make a friend. And so Popolo is um, going to be eventually animated through a digital means, but mostly through stop motion using a set of servos. So the servos will control his spin, whether or not his head goes down or not. So what I've had to do, and this is really where it comes, um, what I think the message is for this video, is about perseverance and about self-doubt Self-doubt was so powerful in this project because I wanted someone else to design this robot. I wanted to go in Fiverr and everything else. I, what I wanted was to actually animate the character. I wanted to bring the character to life, see the car go down the street, everything else, which I have been showing it in my neighbors, to my neighbors and all these kids come around and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that this car and this character are so popular I never I thought it would be in video so already 
bringing this, even the car to life at the same exact time, which I'm going to show you here in a second, is gave, has given me something, some tangibility to life when all this fear of AI, the actual making and sanding of the parts, how to age plastic. I'm going to talk to you about the designing Infusion 360. The, now, Popolo, spelled P-O-P-A-L-O-W, if anyone has ever had a desire to animate or to bring something to life that gives them joy, and whether or not it's your airplane or if it's a car or a motorcycle, if you want to bring something to life and it's taking a long time to do it and you're really having that self-doubt, that I would say that you're probably pretty close to actualizing your dream, which means what that self-doubt I think comes in right when you're about to get an accomplishment that you'll feel so much power and creativity that you'll keep going. So I'm asking you not to give up on your creative idea, no matter what people say. If you throw it by people and they don't really like it, it's not a reflection of whether or not it was a good idea because if you came up with that idea, you need to do it. You need to fulfill that idea because anytime you fulfill that idea, you're telling your subconscious that th you will be able to do powerful things. It, this is the um, car. The weight of this car has gotten quite heavy. I think it's probably weighing in around 12 pounds right now. This is a four by four uh, car that retails for around $300. Okay, probably around 250. And it has this motor here, which you can buy for $13. Now a higher end car has the a fan on top of the motor. So this is a much more powerful car, but the shocks and stuff are about the same. However, what's interesting is, is when you're designing your car, and I did the whole thing out of it, understand that there's a different wheelbase for a 110 car. So this wheelbase, this is a more expensive car. This is around a $400 car. I bought it used for $180, okay? This car is a beast. It requires a bigger battery. This requires a 2S battery, and this requires a 3S battery. Okay, so I am switching this car over to this one, but I'm not gonna do it for a while because I'll have to redesign the actual structure. So what happened is, while my neighborhood kids were using the car, I didn't really understand the importance of a fan inside of that motor, to have a fan. And what happened is, I burnt out the motor. Okay, so, now, to I've shown you the car, and I'm gonna just tell you that the problem with the car is the fact that it needs to be rigid enough to um, it needs to be rigid enough to actually stay together and fall over but I have to be able to uh, replace the parts so on the outside is foam core foam core I cut and that foam core is um, a little bit lighter and the inside is flooring from Home Depot which I laser cut so I'm pretty happy with this. My glass originally was really thick, and then I put thin glass in. Uh, it's easy to crack, but I just left the crack in there that I did right away to give it some actual atmosphere. This project's making me really happy. I'm mentally tired at night, but he's coming.